Welcome back Drink Stuff fans. This is the tiki video for the month of January 2023, our cocktail club. The flavor of the month is hopefully you've already seen is uh, vanilla, but it's sugar free vanilla. We are literally talking about three calories per 25 ml shot. That is amazing. So these are kind of lower calorie kind of cocktails. So I'm going to be rocking out this. I'm going to be rocking out uh, some more of my favorite tiki glasses. So let's dive into the recipes. There's an old, I wouldn't say tiki cocktail, but it's an old rum cocktail revisited coming up in this. So recipe one, we are recreating the perno and black, but we're making it more rummified. And this is also a nod to rum and black as well. It's like they were the big, weirdly, when I first started bartending in 1995, uh, it was like a village pub, but it was like an eating pub, a restaurant pub as well. Very, really busy restaurant pub. Two of the biggest drinks were Perno in black and rum in black. And I'm talking rum with like black currant cordial. Some of you in my rum discord will know exactly what I'm talking about with that. But kind of, I wanted to make a nod to this. So these, uh, this is gonna be uh, flash blended in here. So we'll start off with um, the uh, sugar-free vanilla in there. Now, if you go back to the previous videos, I have said I am using 25 mil for this because uh, I think it needs that. I don't think you can get away with 15 mil. It just doesn't quite give the flavor, but it doesn't balance the cocktail out. So for these, 25 mil, I think is a decent return uh, for the sugar-free stuff and the reduced sugar stuff. Remember, we did use uh, a passion fruit in that as well, but we're still talking like three calories per 25 mil, so it's a bargain. So we're going for 25 mil of the vanilla um, syrup. Uh, I've put in my notes, I wanted to go for an agricole or a clarin or something like that. But I saw, I saw this on my back bar at home and I thought, this doesn't get much love. So this is a Madeira, it's a pot still, which will give you those kind of sugar cane juice agricole vibes. So I'm going at 45 mil of this, four or five. Uh, that of, uh, so basically just an, an unaged kind of sugar cane juice pot still kind of vibe rum. Right, so we go, so we've got a rum, uh, we now go for our black, which is, you know, from by the Ronce, it's kind of raspberry crossed with blackberry, so we're going there. Uh, 15 mil, this is absolutely gorgeous, this stuff, 15 mil of that. My, now you could use Perdo, of course you could, but I do actually really like this. It's Cornish, so I call it, I call, lovingly call it Cornish pasty, uh, but it's pastis, so it's like a Perdo anise kind of thing, but I call it Cornish pasty because it's more fun in it. Uh, so I'll go 15 mil of this as well, one five. There we go. And uh, just to finish off, I'm going for some lime juice. And I'm going, I've got a, uh, what should we go with it? I'm going for 15 mil of lime juice here, one five. Uh, and now I'm just going to flash blend that with crushed ice and then we'll serve it up. Right, just have a little try of that. That is, that is absolutely amazing. That is so, so delicious. Um, I, I should have put this in a clear glass really, but it's a tiki glass. So I'm going to, you could add some tiki bitters to this to give it like an even more sort of, I don't know, sort of like a, the spice vibe too. That is flipping amazing. The frambois de Rance, the pastis and the rum, but with that vanilla coming up, that is amazing. So I'm just gonna, I've an open gated pour, should we say, like that. So it's a flash blended dump in our tiki glass. There we go, perfect. There was a bit of crushed ice in there to start. And then just the garnish. Uh, we'll make it look even better for the thumbnail, but I've just got some uh, some mint there. So that is Perno and Black 2.0. So recipe number two, this is a chance for you guys to dive in the comments and give this a name. There's a few more in here coming out. I just haven't named them. So get involved with your names. Dive into the comments below. Uh, I've been grading, as you'll see, I've graded my, uh, I've had a bit of a studio refurb at home. So all the stuff that was at the back of the shelves underneath, I pulled out. I found I found a virtually unused uh, red leg uh, pineapple rum. So we, I brought that in, that could get used there. So, uh, we go for 25 ml of the modern sugar-free vanilla syrup. Uh, I'm gonna use 45 ml, four or five of that, just red leg. So this is uh, pineapple and ginger, vanilla and ginger. That's why it kind of looks at that instead of a normal uh, pineapple rum. So, but 45 ml of this, 
Christ, it must be well over a year ago where I did the pineapple rum taste off with this stuff. Uh, so we've got that. We've got 15 ml of Koku Kanu, very, very vibrant um, coconut rum. So fourth, uh, sorry, 15 ml. Hopefully that's what I said. Uh, lemon juice, I'm going for 15 ml of lemon juice. You could up this uh, slightly, just balance it out to your own taste. So I'm going 15 ml of lemon juice. Right, uh, do the pineapple soda in a minute. I've got the almond bitters again, just to kind of give this, as I've said, Fee Brothers, they do have flavor, but you just need to use, where I normally do what one and a, a dash of Angostura bitters, I would kind of double it nearly for the Fee Brothers. Uh, because the alcohol content of this is a little 6.6, .6. most bitters are like 30, 40% ABV. So they do have the flavor. You just, for me, you just need to use a little bit more. So three dashes of almond bitters, there we go. Uh, and then I will flash blend this, but this is just pineapple soda. Um, no frills with it, it's just a decent fizzy pineapple soda. So I'm going to do uh, roughly, what well, these 150 ml bottles? I'm gonna do roughly just under half the bottle in there. So roughly about sort of 60, 70 ml. Right then, after a quick uh, flash blend, Oh, that's really good. Very, very pineapple forward. The vanilla comes underneath there. Oh, the almonds just come out now. That's really light, really refreshing, really like that. So again, an open gated pour, a, a flash blended dump. I like that, flash blended dump's better. There we go. And then just to garnish, I've got a, de a dehydrated pineapple. There we go and another sprig of mint. So remember, uh, dive into the comments, give that one a name. So recipe number three, I'm going for a daiquiri and I'm breaking all my rules with a daiquiri because I love column still and I love white rums, unaged rums in daiquiris. I'm going sort of pot still and I'm going aged rub, but this tastes amazing. I have to say, I've never made it with vanilla sugar free, but I have done it with vanilla sugar, like normal morning sugar. So we're gonna go for it. Uh, 25 ml of this. This is a rhubarb vanilla and ginger daiquiri. So uh, 25 ml of that, 45 ml of El Dorado five year olds. Uh, not the rum I've traditionally used in this, um, but you know, Give it a go with El Dorado. It doesn't get much love from me, so I'm gonna give it a go. So 45 ml of that, uh, 15 ml of uh, Giffard. Uh, I have, we have just noticed, uh, shout out to Pam, that uh, Giffard actually a long time ago have now made this less alcoholic. So this is, if you are looking to replicate this, this is the old 35% ABV stuff. I have not tasted the newer 25% ABV, whatever it is. But this stuff was my um, replacement for King's Ginger since they stupidly reformulated and added loads of lemon to it. So this stuff is banging, absolutely amazing. I cannot guarantee what the taste of the 25% ginger is. Um, I will get a bottle, but I, I do actually, I don't use that much of it, but I normally use like five, 10 mils in there. So on that, I'm actually going seven and a half mil in here. There we go, seven and a half mil. This does give a nice feisty of ginger. I, if my hunch, if that's gone downhill, my hunch would then be um, the main decanton. That would be my next one. Um, but that wasn't as good as King's Ginger 1.0 and it wasn't as good as that, but we shall see. Anyway, uh, so I've done that, seven and a half ml of ginger, uh, 20 ml of lime juice, and rhubarb bitters in here. Remember, as I've said plenty of times this month, because I've got loads of them out here, you just need to get up, up it a little bit. So I'm going for three, maybe a fourth dash of rhubarb bitters in here. One, two, three, four, there we go. So, uh, power shake with loads of ice, and then let's just try this. That is fantastic. Oh my God, that is fantastic. As far as, I wouldn't even say um, sweet, but I was gonna say fun and fruity, which naturally have a little bit more sweetness. It's not, that is absolutely fantastic. The rhubarb is there, the vanilla is there. There's a subtle hint of ginger in there. That's it. Those bitters, the feet, that's what I will say about the Feed Brother bitters. They do give you the oomph in flavor. You just need to use slightly more of them, but then they are cheap enough to replace. So, um, double strain. Then I couldn't find any dehydrated lime here, so I've got a dehydrated lemon instead. But there we go. That is stunning. Rhubarb, vanilla, and ginger daiquiri. 
So recipe number four, this is another one that needs your name, please, guys. So dive in when you see this is a nine ingredient base. Some of them might not be on this. They're probably the juices that are not on, but you'll see them in a second. So 25 ml of the vanilla sugar-free syrup. If you were, I don't think I mentioned it in this video, if you were going to use normal full-fat vanilla in this, I would bring it down 10 to 15 mil. I think 10 to 15 mil, 12 and a half mil. Let's say 12 and a half mil. Let's say one to two. There you go. I would say if you're going to use 25 mil of sugar free, you could probably get away with 12 and a half or so half the amount of full fat. So uh, just bear that in mind. All right. So we've done the vanilla, uh, 30 mil of Pusser's gum powder proof, uh, 54 and a half percent. Uh, then go one of my favorite mixing rums, actually. This is, I do a lot of experiments with this. This is great. Uh, it's uh, Guyana and Jamaica in here. I think it's Guyana. Yeah, I'll bend plot there for a second. Uh, but 30 mil of this as well. So we've got that. Um, we're going for the apricot. Oh, I love apricot, love apricot. 15 mil, one five. Uh, this is the best apricot on the market as well by a mile. Absolute buy a mile. Don't just take my word for it. Buy it and then tell me. Tell me you, the ha you hate it. Tell me that bowls is better once you buy that. I dare you. Right. Uh, now we go for the, the juices. Uh, so 20 ml of lime juice. Um, pineapple juice. Juice wise, I do say this a lot, but 100% pressed and squeezed. Supermarket is fine. Just try and get 100% pressed and squeezed because they do taste a lot better. So 25 ml, uh, 20 ml, sorry. So 20 ml of lime juice, 20 ml of pineapple juice, uh, 20 ml of orange juice, complete with bits. Enough of this stuff. There we go. And the next one is passion fruit juice. Going to do 20 ml of good old Rubicon. And then Angostura bitters, two dashes of Angostura bitters. Really commit to the dash, one, two, so you don't get your bar top all stained in that. Right, crushed rice, flash blend. Right, the aroma on that is, oh my God, that smell. It smells tiki before I've even tried it, right. Oh, that's so good. Oh, the pusses. The pusses and the vanilla are the two dominant things. There's a little bit of apricot. You've got like, what I would call sort of tropical juice in there, Angostura bitters. Oh, that is that is proper tasty. Punch, zombie-ish, kind of, come up with your own names. Uh, just open gated pour down there. I will say that, I do love the glass, but it's a little bit kind of, you kind of want it like that, if you know what I mean. But I do like the glass. You just, you just lose on the volume up here, that's all. So, there we go, that'll do. Uh, garnish that up, oh, we've got a little bit of spillage. There we go, garnish that up, how you see fit. Here we go. That is proper tasty, that is. And the fifth and final recipe is another one that needs your uh, name, please. So dive into the comments. Um, I've got bitter free in this. I'm gonna uh, kind of taste it and see whether I can add bitters afterwards. Um, but 25 ml of the morning um, vanilla, sugar-free vanilla. Uh, I've done, uh, what was I got? 30 ml of unaged rum. That's the word I was looking for. Unaged rum, white rum. I kind of wanted the more sort of vanilla. I nearly brought El Dorado three year old because that doesn't get any love, but then I realized I've still got a little bit of plantation here. So uh, 30 ml of that. Decent sort of white unaged rum. Uh, Compañero orange. This is an orange, this is a rum liqueur, but it's an rum, an orange rum liqueur. Quite punchy still. Uh, forget this, 40% ABV. So, you know, a little bit more healthier than your Quantros and that sort of stuff. So 30 ml of this in there as well. Uh, 20 ml of Persoa, a passion fruit kind of twist. So we've got predominantly sort of orange and lemon flavor, but I just wanted to give it a little bit of tropicalness. So 20 ml of uh, Pessoa in there, and uh, 25 ml of uh, lemon juice. Kind of, so kind of balanced on the, uh, so it should be flavor forward, but sort of balanced, nicely balanced on the citrus. That's why I'm not sure about the bitters yet, but I'll flash blend and have a taste. I really, really like that. Lovely amount of citrus in that. It's a passion fruit there. The orange really does go out. The vanilla is there. Bitter-wise, I'm not going to add any bitters. Um, I'm thinking something like uh, cherry bitters, like a little hint of cherry or something in there. But how would you... That's another comment for you. Uh, how would you kind of finish that off? So it's orange, orange lemon and a bit of sort of... Uh, 
passion fruit flavours in there. I'm just trying to think of different bitters I could use. I wouldn't go Angostura or Tiki bitters, me personally, but there we go. Anyway, that's your fifth and final recipe. Uh, hopefully you've enjoyed that. Don't forget, you could get, you could win one of these. I want to see your recipes. Submit your recipes. December was kind of a, a slower month, obviously. People have got more in the place than sort of entering cocktail competitions. But look at that, frosted on that. Get your recipe submissions in on Instagram, tag us, create a photo of it, tag us in the actual photo on Instagram, uh, or come into a Discord and do it there. Uh, that goes through to I Make Your Cocktails, the panel of judges then judge uh, all the ones that you've submitted and the winner gets a flavor of their choice. But don't forget, you can also get this at a discounted rate. Uh, link in the comments below and in the description. Uh, and if you want even more vanilla recipe inspiration, Dive into that video right there.